So what's everyone about to watch? The Michael Robertson Show. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm Michael Robertson. I grew up in a very sexy town called Boxburg. If you sit at the local watering hole, having a beer, as you look up, mine shaft felt. This is where I grew up. I was drawing all the time. I would scribble the Ninja Turtles, little circle for the hand, three lines for the three fingers and everything. Illustrating comics, drawing comics everywhere, going to be a comic book artist. My one really good friend, Brandon Hamilton, he had a home DVD software and you could upload photos and then flip those photos at certain frames. All of a sudden, my little exam pad animations that I was flipping with my thumb could be put on a computer and could actually make a little film, a little movie. When I realized these stupid, silly things I was drawing could actually come to life, that was it. No more comic book artist, animation. So here I am wanting to go into animation there's nowhere to go and study. So I thought, cool, let me go and get an advertising degree and use that to kind of get into the animation game locally. I just sat down and I drew, animated more, animated more, and it was a half decent animation. There I am, minding my own business, walking down the streets of Joburg. Who do I bump into? My ex. And who is she with? The new guy. I walk the other side of the road, and I just pretend like nothing happened. I go home, I animate the entire story. Entered that into the Luries, got my first Lurie at the age of 19. After I graduated, I then started putting my portfolio out there. Who got back to me? One of the producers from that old series, The PJs. Now, if anyone knows The PJs, you'd realize what kind of big deal this was. They wanted to start pitching another show, and we got talking. Unfortunately, when they found out that it was just me and there wasn't a team that could produce this project, they started looking somewhere else. It didn't affect me much at all emotionally. <laughs> me missing out on this production made me realize that Michael Robertson, freelancer, is gonna miss out on a lot of different opportunities. So, light bulb moment. Why not just register my own company? It has now been a few years. Good pay, good money, good projects. Creatively being forced in a certain direction every single time, mind numbing. So then, a specific moment happened in my life that pushed me in the direction of music videos. There I am sitting, looking around the room, I see Pat. Pat is the Cavalier's drummer. But I was just like, hey Pat, imagine you sitting, riding a dolphin, playing drums. He kind of gave me a, oh yeah, no, cool idea, guy. No, that'll be, do it. One month later, we had a music video. Entered it into the MK Awards on DSTV. No other ad that I'd worked on, no other project I had worked on, made me as proud and as excited as it was when I saw Pat up on screen on broadcast television on his dolphin playing drums. And that just sparked the music video interest. The music side of things are starting to pick up. So what do I do? Phone up Brian Adams' team. Ended up Skyping with Brian Adams, which was an insane moment in not only my career, but my life. So he said, Pitch me ideas, but understand I might not go with any of them, which is eventually what ended up happening. And him rejecting us in the end didn't affect me at all. Not even a little bit. There I am on the beach thinking about what would get people's attention. An animated series about abortions. What happens with abortions? And that is what Smells Like Love, the unwanted animated TV series answers. And that is what Comedy Central wants nothing to do with. So what did I do? Entered it into a bunch of film festivals. To my surprise, no response from a lot of the festivals. And then it made it into CIM, crappy international movies. 
I'm super grateful for everything I've achieved and where I've gotten to at this point. There are a couple of opportunities that have come up lately and I'm very excited about where I'm going in the future.